about 300 to 400 million years ago, long before the dinosaurs existed, life flourished in the oceans. That period is known as the Devonian period, or you could call it the era of the fish. Millions of species of fish thrived in the depths of our blue oceans. During this period, one predatory fish ruled the entire oceans of our planet. We call it Dunkleosteus, a giant-sized fish with almost 200 times more powerful jaws than great white sharks. Dunkleosteus was so big, it would make today's predator fish like a tiny goldfish. Dunkleosteus ruled the oceans for thousands of years as apex predators on top of the food chain with no competitors. So, how did a species so powerful just go extinct? Today, we have an insight into the Dunkleosteus fish and what made that fish go extinct. But before that, make sure to like the video and subscribe to our channel so you do not miss out on any informative videos about animals. So, let's get started. Dunkleosteus may have gone extinct millions of years ago, but thanks to the discovery of the fossils, we have found a lot about Dunkleosteus fish, what they look like, what they ate, and what special hunting abilities they possessed. According to the fossils, the Dunkleosteus was a 20-foot-long, bus-sized fish that weighed at least one ton. The biggest skeleton discovered is up to 28 feet long. These fish looked like sharks, but had turtle-like jaws. After reconstructing the skeleton, scientists discovered that Dunkleosteus had many inches thick, bony facial skeleton that functioned as armor to provide protection. It did not have teeth, so the bony facial plates extended into jaws and supported jaw muscles to exert an immense amount of biting force. So, Dunkleosteus did not only look like sharks, but it tore the flesh and crushed the bones like great white sharks, only with more brute strength. Scientists tell us that this predator's razor-sharp jaws could bite with the pressure of 8,000 pounds per square inch. This biting force is more than the bite of most dinosaurs from the Jurassic period. But, what is even more frightening is the hunting methods of Dunkleosteus. These predators just attacked any fish they saw when they were hungry, including their own kind. One bite was enough to shred its prey into pieces. Then, Dunkleosteus could rapidly open and close its jaws to create a suction in the water. This suction allowed them to suck its prey and engulf it. The Dunkleosteus lived in shallow coastal areas where food was abundant for them. All the conditions were suitable for these predators, and they were flourishing in the oceans. So, what really happened that caused the extinction of Dunkleosteus? There is no confirmed reason behind the extinction of Dunkleosteus. Many people come up with different theories, but scientists believed it could be related to the mass extinction event that happened in the late Devonian period. They called it the Kelwasser event. According to scientists, 80 to 90 percent of all species of fish died off in this mass extinction event, and Dunkleosteus was one of those. So, what really killed 90 percent of ocean life, including these successful predators? During the late Devonian period, land animals did not exist. But plants thrived both on land and in the oceans. Some vascular plants evolved their ways into the depths of the oceans. Their roots penetrated the hard surface of the oceans, which broke the rocks rich in nutrients and minerals. This excess of nutrients and minerals was released into the oceans, which became one of the reasons for the deaths of many species. However, the real reason was the unexpected growth of algae in the oceans. The minerals and nutrients made the oceans a suitable habitat for algae, and it multiplied very fast, covering almost every green life in the oceans. It blocked the sunlight, killing marine plants that needed sunlight for their energy. As we know, no plants means no oxygen. So when plants died in the oceans, the oxygen level in the water began to drop significantly. Most of the oceans became anoxic zones, which means there was not enough oxygen in the water for marine life. 
The lack of oxygen in the oceans killed millions of fish species, and Dunkleosteus was no exception. However, we do not know for sure what became the real reason for the fall of Dunkleosteus. One thing is obvious. If Dunkleosteus had survived, they still could have been ruling their ocean kingdoms. Thank you for watching this video! I hope you guys liked it. Make sure to like and subscribe to watch our regular videos related to the animal kingdom. Until next time, goodbye!